What is up, YouTube? So we are here with another dope reaction video. We've got a reaction here from Inside Edition. This video is called Former Sheriff Jeremy Knoll Admits to Stealing Five Million from Taxpayers. We got the prison show pirate. We got the taxpayer treasonous. Do you remember him? This is the guy who was on 60 Days In. He was the sheriff for a few seasons, right? He was, he was that like pretending to be super straight edge, super strict, does everything by the book, cares so much, is always going to do the right thing guy. I always had a bit of a feeling though that he was a bit of, a bit of a dick, you know, a bit of a arrogant guy and like, you know, was just too happy to have himself as the face of the show and didn't really take any proper criticism. Well, look where he's ending up. I guess he wasn't such a great guy. Now we got a judge kind of bashing the hammer down on him. We got some stuff going on with him. We got to learn a little bit about what happened with him. Not too long of a video. Let's get into it. I hope you enjoy. It's a little something different. So y'all let me know in the comments if y'all like this or if you don't, what kind of content you like to see. So, I, you know, I get to know. I'll know if you want more like this or not. Let's get it. Was Jamie Knoll the most corrupt sheriff in America? His list of crimes is staggering. Even the special judge in his criminal case has expressed disgust with Knoll's behavior. I told Mr. Knoll, don't do anything stupid. Do not try to deceive me, defy me. You will not like the consequences. Oh! Oh, damn! He, he, I don't want to say he was going to smack the gavel down, bro. He really, I've never in my entire life seen a judge smack the gavel that hard. Okay? Ever. Hold on. He meant this. He meant it. Watch. Bro! That's a quality gavel. We need to find out what company that is, but... God, dude, he's not playing, bro. Imagine you being in the courtroom, and this is what's happening. Oh, bro, you in trouble. You in trouble, bro. Oh, oh, this is going to be good. Let's that is that day. This is a good judge. Shout out to him, bro. This is how you should be handling corruptness, right? Because, like, it's not a guy who just made a mistake, right? It's a guy who put himself into a position of power to take advantage of that. And, like, ugh, like you got to hold them to a higher standard. I'm glad this judge is looks like he's taking it personal and isn't too happy you are not the law you don't interpret the law you don't enforce the law you're not above the law i find that you have get him judge you are contempt of this court yeah i bet he is take him into custody yeah noel served as the sheriff yeah. of indiana's clark county for eight years he'd start in the all I'm going to say is I, I know a thing or two. I got some friends from Indiana. There's a lot of fucking corruption out there. I, like, and I'm from Quebec, bro. So we do, might have a little higher level corruption because it goes right everywhere here. But it's like, it's organized corruption. So it works. It's not this kind of corruption. <laughs> I, it's hard to explain that. But this is just like unorganized, like ruining everything corruption. First season of the A&E reality show, 60 Days In, in 2016. Damn, he was on Mariner. the first season? I forgot that. I thought he was, like, third. Damn. said, hey, the majority of the people in your facility are in here for drugs, and you don't have a narcotics anonymous class. And exactly why y'all don't have that is because he took all the money you could have spent on that. Five million on taxpayers? Bro, you could have done that for, like, a couple hundred thousand. So you're, the re you're complaining about you're the reason that it's not happening. Damn, bro. You but the county's top lawman had been breaking the law. In August, Noel agreed to plead guilty to 27 felonies, acknowledging he stole more than $5 million in public money. He used those funds to buy designer suits, lavish vacations, and meals, more than 100 classic cars, a private plane, and even a train. Bro, a, tr for a train? How do you buy a train? And on top of that, bro, this is like not even trying to hide it. Bro, you're a sheriff at a prison. You're, you, what are you making? Like tops, a hundred, hundred and a bit K a year, probably less. How do you have all that? It's like a half a million dollar car. How do you, how do you have a plane? How do you, bro, you was just taking this way too far. Like you wasn't even just stealing a little bit off the side. You was stealing way more than what you was even making. Bro, this is horrible. 
the judge in Noel's case wants to and bro, from he does Fort not Ham look like he feels bad he looks like he feels bad that he got caught that does not look a remorseful face at all Imagine Noel's case wants to hear from ordinary residents before sentencing him to prison. I mean, not just management, not just the sheriff's department. I want to hear from people that don't have $800 belts. I want to hear from taxpayers that have been aggrieved by the actions of this individual. What's his name? Aggrieved. Larry Medlock, special judge in Noel's case. Shout out to him, bro. This seems like a guy who cares. Not only is he he's smacking that gavel down, now he's saying he wants to hear from the taxpayers and not just the sheriff department, not the people who he truly stole from. And that's good because in too many of these cases, he'll just hear from the sheriff's department, the official people and the mayors. But the people who he actually stole from, who are the, the, the city, the people who live there, the county, whatever, whoever pay their taxes there, these are the people he stole from and they should have every right to come and say how they feel he should be treated. And I think that judge should take that into the highest level of consideration. And it, it's great that he's doing that because you don't often hear them doing stuff like that. So shout out to him. Larry Medlock, shout out to you, bro. By the actions of this individual. EMS workers that have lost their jobs, paramedics that are, at, are not out there saving people because the money was diverted for pleasures. For many in Clark County who know That's Jamie- That's fucked up, bro. That means people died because of what you- You deserve a long time. People died because of what you did, probably. If you're telling me that people weren't, like, medical workers weren't able to do their jobs and go out and be hired and had to lose their jobs because there wasn't money being put in that was supposed to be- Bro, to me, that's like a murder or attempted murder or something along those lines. You, you deserve a long time, no, but- uh, Justice seemed to be riding a very slow horse. The rural county has a population of around 120,000. Its operating budget this year is $49 million. Jamie Knoll's last salary as sheriff was $169,000. Yeah, a little higher than what I More said. I said like 150 max, but still right, right in that ballpark, bro. You know, you can't afford all that shit. 40 times the average county sheriff's income, according to a government salary. <laughs> <laughs> Watchdog Fuck. group. We don't live in a very big area. Everybody knows Jamie. You know, they were very uh, flashy with their money. I mean, you know, the plastic surgeries, the Botox, the purses, the clothes, the designer, everything. They absolutely wanted for nothing. There was, they always had the newest phones, you know, newest of everything. People started questioning that stuff. Like, how do they afford that lifestyle and take the lavish trips that they took? Noel's wife, Misty, and their adult daughter, Casey, have also been charged with multiple counts of stealing tens of thousands from the nonprofit fire agency Jamie Noel founded. Bruh, you're stealing, you're founding a nonprofit fire agency and then stealing it. I don't even know what a nonprofit fire agency is, but bruh, it's not what you should be stealing from, bro. They pleaded not guilty. Their trials will be held later this year. They went to Rome. They went to Florida all the time. Nobody could figure it out, let alone me. I was I used to call it the Null Mafia. Huh. That sounds about I, right, the Null Mafia. They was acting like some mafia. That's what this sounds like, for real. This is the type of shit we do deal with in Quebec. People going in and doing this type of shit. Just more organized and higher level. But yeah, same idea. I always said like there was too many people involved. Hope Knoll was married to Jamie's brother, Leon, for four years. Leon Knoll died in 2018, and Jamie was named executor of his estate. State investigators allege Jamie stole tens of thousands from his brother's children. He has denied those allegations. They were shocked. We were all shocked. I was mad. Um, I got the phone calls. You know, I had to tell all the kids, and they're just like, what? And I was upset. I was crying. Imagine your, your your uncle or grand, whatever who's a sheriff stealing like this, bro. That's horrible. I was upset just knowing that as a family member and as Leon's brother, there was no reason for this. I, I don't understand why stealing he from your would brother's do that, family, you know, yeah. to anyone, but let alone his brother. He literally stole from the kids as soon as, you know, he got the chance to. All of Leon Knoll's heirs have sued their uncle in civil court. Jamie Knoll has not been criminally charged with stealing yeah, from the estate. Us. Who, in their right mind, just takes everything and acts like it's theirs? I don't get it. 
of the amount of stuff Jamie has done is really kind of hard to wrap your head around. Community activist Sean Bostick says he's been helping state investigators uncover Jamie Knoll's web of corruption. I was contacted by the Indiana State Police early on uh, uh, because I knew the player. The investigators were all from out of town. They knew nobody involved. And uh, my name came up to them a few times. People lost their lives. Good for him. That is the biggest thing. And good for, good for you, you know what? Good for the Indiana that investigated this for taking him down because it's easy to overlook stuff like this. So good for them for taking him down. It's a, it's a good show, especially he's been on TV and all that. Like, just too much. It costed staff the necessary equipment that they needed to do their job and damage and potential of death because of his negligence. Um, secondarily, uh, public uh, trust of law enforcement has just tanked. Jamie Knoll appeared in court on August 26th, more than one year after the Indiana State Police began their corruption probe. And it's my understanding that you wish to withdraw your previous land or plea of not guilty and enter a plea of guilty pursuant to the terms of this document. Yes, Your Honor. Anybody offered you anything of Doesn't, any value? He don't look like he feel bad at all. He's unhappy he got caught. He's unhappy his stuff's getting taken away. Get your plea guilty here today. No, Your Honor. Anybody threaten you, coerce you, forced you, or anyone else to get you to plea guilty here today? No, Your Honor. Noel's defense attorney read each count aloud to the court as he and he was sitting there making people feel bad for being prisoners and being a dick and all this stuff when you were doing worse than most of them. Shame on you, Agreed bro. to plead guilty to theft, money laundering, tax evasion, and other felonies. On May 10th, 2023, an HVAC system that was installed at the Turnberry Mansion in the amount of $2,700. March 22nd, 2023, a chimney repair at the Turnberry property in the amount of $11,200. February 17th, 2022, an airplane purchased in the amount of $25,000. September 9th, 2022, $1,616. And on July 13th, 2022, a cut cadet mower purchased in the amount of $11,000. You acknowledge and understand that those are properties that you exerted unauthorized control to the detriment of the Utica Volunteer Fire Department, correct? Yes, sir. Mr. Hurdle, do you have any uh, further questions of Mr. Knoll? Mr. Noel, you don't you know you don't have to plead guilty to anything today, don't you? Yes, sir. I'm aware of that. It's your choice? Yes, sir. You're pleading guilty because you committed these crimes? Yes, sir. Well, I'm not gonna say yes, I'm not gonna say no today. I'm gonna take this matter under advisement. I'd like to hear from some of the victims, or a lot of the victims, in regards to whether they believe that this is an appropriate sentence. I want to hear from taxpayers that have been aggrieved by the actions of this individual. This is exactly how, a, like, I, I can't give enough credit to this because exactly how a judge needs to handle it. It's like, you're, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm not going to accept this plea deal. I'm going to take this under advisement, but I'm going to want to hear from the people you hurt, and we're going to see if, if they think that this is appropriate. And I bet you if they don't, if a bunch of taxpayers go in there and say, not enough, he's going to give them more. And good. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the people you should answer to. It shouldn't just be the bureaucrat. It shouldn't be all that. It should be the people who you really hurt. And in a case like this, it's like you should be held to a higher standard. You're a sheriff. I'm sorry. That's it. That's how you fix these things. You make them answer to the people who they hurt. And you let those people decide their punishment within reason. Shout out to this judge. I really, really, really like how he's handling this. I hope Mr. Knoll has learned from my previous actions that uh, I mean what I say and I say what I mean. The judge had only one word after hearing Knoll plead guilty 27 times. Shameful. Jamie Back. Knoll's sentencing hearing is scheduled for October 14th. This is Inside Edition Digital. So shout out to Inside Edition. Go sub to them. Um, shout out to that judge for doing an impeccable job and like setting a standard and Hopefully more judges follow that. I could tell he cares about his community and he's not happy with what happened here and it's good to see that level of integrity. So shout out to him. Um, let me know what y'all thought of this video. The Noel, the Sheriff Noel, piece of shit, fuck him. Nobody likes him. In the first thing, everybody thought there was something weird about him. I know I'm not the only one. And he's a little stuck up. So he deserves everything he gets after doing this. Shouldn't do stuff like this. 
Um, I hope y'all like this reaction video. I got another P. Diddy video coming this week. I got more Wade Wilson coming this week. Y'all let me know what you thought of this. I'll keep going outside the box and we'll keep doing no things. Shout out to everyone who's tuning in. I'm about to hit 4K subs over here, so I appreciate that. I've been growing like crazy. My view's been doing good, so much love for all that. Shout out to everyone who's tuned in. Hope, hope y'all doing good. Stay blessed. Peace out.